viewers, how the devil are ya? Well, I'm back again trying another modification with the vaporizing burner. I've simplified it a little bit, but uh, whether it's worth it or not, have a look and see. Being the type that's uh, never satisfied and happy with uh, what works fine, today I thought I'd test an idea I have regarding the vaporizing burner. As most of uh, my regular viewers would see, normally on the end of that pipe I have a plate which basically stops the air going straight down and disperses it sideways. My idea has been that having the air blowing directly down is not a good thing because it cools the pool of oil and that stops it vaporising. I've also had a second thought that perhaps if the uh, pipe is high enough it may blow the flame front back down onto itself in a regenerative type fashion and that just may work. I'm always uh, keen to try and make these things as simple and uh, easy to construct as possible because not everybody has the amount of junk and piles of tools laying around that I do and simple is always better. So I thought I'd test this and perhaps that some poor sod out there might be uh, bored enough to actually find it interesting and have some time to kill so I'm going to uh, record it and see what happens. One of the things I love about the vaporizing design burner is just how dead simple easy it is to fire up. As you can see I'm going to uh, put a little bit of oil in it to start with. I'll then add some starting fuel, light that off, hit the air and the thing should just come right up on its own. Uh, they usually go from zero to full heat output in under a minute. didn't work too well at all. Much too much air there for a start, so I think maybe uh, that the uh, dispersal plate might be the way to go. I'll, uh, I'll try it again and see what I come up with. I had my big blower restricted right down as much as I could, but still the air output, as you could see, was way too much. That's alright, because already I've learnt something. First of all, I normally can run that blower with the dispersion plate flat out, so it automatically tells me I'm going to get a lot less heat out of this setup than what I would the other one. As you can see, what I've done is substitute the big blower for the little $20 bilge blower that I showed in another video, and I'm going to run it off that four stage battery charger. Uh, it's got 6 and 12 volt high and low so that gives me a, uh, a way of uh, throttling the thing back from a very low output to the very uh, mild output the thing is capable of doing. Based on what I just saw it should be uh, quite adequate anyway but let's fire it up again and see what happens this time. Although it's very early in the vid, I think it's time to put my safety warning in already. If you're the sort of limp-wristed, scaredy-cat, girly, undie-wearing type that, you know, is afraid of anything hands-on, look, uh, look away or just go back to the knitting channel right now. What you're about to see might scare you again, and we're not sure if your feeble little heart can take that. 
reason I'm testing it like this is because I've got another idea for a more fully functional enclosed burner. If I can just insert a uh, bent piece of tube through the side like this without the end plate, it will certainly be a lot easier to uh, make the burner up. I have got some alternatives, but I'm just trying to test the uh, easiest way to go first. I wouldn't probably use it like this. Uh, as I say, I do have other ideas in mind, but I'm just trying to test the principle here. It seems like uh, it can work. I'll probably do some more playing with it just to see how viable it is because if it's going to be too touchy to get up and going well then there's really no advantage in using this system. Well I've got the thing dialed up a bit now. Uh, it uh, isn't the uh, most powerful burner but that's what a lot of people want anyway. I don't know what the fuel consumption or the output is but I would imagine it's pretty low. I'll uh, have a go and play with it a bit more and see if I can clean it up a bit and turn it down a little bit more as well. Okay, not a bad flame pattern in there actually. It looks like that would self-sustain and I reckon we're probably doing maybe 10 kilowatts an hour there or maybe one litre of oil. I'm not sure what it is, I'm only guesstimating but I can see that it uh, is pretty low. I'm not really sure what you'd use this sort of low output for but everybody's got different uses so it, uh, it's bound to find a use somewhere. One thing I can see is a lot of the vaporisation is going on in the tube itself and not in the actual burning chamber. Uh, that should be alright as long as the tube stays hot enough, but if not over time it could carbonise. If you were doing something like this I would give it a, uh, a hot and hard run every now and then just to make sure that there is no build up inside that air tube with the uh, left behind that the evaporation or vaporizing oil will leave. I'm not sure if you can see that but just on this side uh, of the air tube there is just the tiny little drip of oil coming down. Uh, that shows me that it is actually uh, preheating in the tube and there is some oil burning going on in the chamber itself. While ever that happens it's a pretty good bet that you can uh, get this to sustain pretty much indefinitely. As you can see it is a very now, low Now there's heat. one thing for sure that's letting me uh, be able to run this burner at uh, this output and control it and that's that little gate valve. Have I shown before I've got the ball valve behind it which just is used as a, uh, an on off and the gate valve allows me a lot more precise control. You can also see that I'm uh, running very little oil in my tank there, nearly used it all up but still um, it's uh, enough for this and I'm still got the valve wound down pretty well anyhow. Uh, so if you are going to do one of these I suggest uh, one of these valves, maybe a needle valve um, is a really good idea to allow you the control. On the high outputs you can uh, uh, do without it quite easily because you're running so much oil it doesn't matter but when you get down to the low outputs uh, every little drop makes a difference. Now I'm running my little uh, bilge blower flat out here. Um, it's running only through maybe an inch and a half tube, so there's not a lot of airflow going on. The question I'd be asking myself now is, based on the uh, first fire up with the uh, big blower, is how much heat you can extract out of these. Uh, 
there's going to be a limit where the amount of air going in just is uh, too fast, too high a velocity, and it's going to blow the oil out before it gets a chance to properly burn and heat up. You get, you'd get spitting then, and that's probably not real desirable. So as a, uh, a low output burner, this can definitely work. Uh, again, it seems a little bit touchy and finicky, certainly a lot more than what the original setup with the diffusion plate was but nonetheless um, it is very simple and easy to do and it can uh, provide small outputs if that's what you need here's another look at the flame pattern as you can see I've got the inlet rather offset it's also pointing at an angle but uh, you might be able to see there that the uh, flame is almost coming out like a single jet uh, quite interesting actually the uh, the burner is running uh, completely clean there's nothing but hot air coming out of there no smoke whatsoever but uh, I think this illustrates that the actual positioning and angle of the uh, the inlet can be uh, quite critical also the uh, the fueling makes a difference go. too. Here's something new this is easily the smallest, lowest output sustained uh, heating I've ever had any of my oil burners. There is just the tiniest little trickle of oil running out of there. You may or may not be able to see it, but it's so small it's lighting off as soon as it comes out of that air tube. I've had it going for oh, over five minutes now at this rate. I didn't think it would sustain, but it looks like it is. I think in part that's due to the fact that there is some ash and build up on the bottom and it is uh, basically wicking off that and using the uh, air feed. Uh, that uh, is a bit of an achievement. I find it a lot easier to make uh, very high powered burners than I do very small ones. But uh, again, I'm learning something here myself in just seeing how low these things can go. Uh, as you can see, it's not a small um, uh, extinguisher bottle I've got there. You can see it in other videos where it's pumping out uh, flames easily three feet high and probably doing at least 150 kilowatts. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've no way of measuring it, but I would say that that's well under one litre an hour. I started off with a near empty tank and I've still got a near empty tank. Uh, I'm surprised I've been able to go this long but um, you know with small outputs it's amazing how economical they can be normally I've got my eye on the fuel tank to see when it's going to run out uh, now I'm just looking at it to see if it's ever going to run out um, again you know this isn't a lot of heat but uh, when people talk about low outputs that just goes to show you what can actually be achieved um, for me quite amazing really I've moved the uh, tube there around a little bit just to give you a bit different view of the flame front. It's uh, still uh, vaporising somewhat in the air tube which isn't a bad thing and it is dripping a little bit into the uh, burning chamber as well. Uh, all up it looks like this works and it is uh, a successful type thing. I will have to do a bit more playing with it just to see how fiddly the thing is. I did have a bit of trouble getting it lit but maybe that's just not being used to it uh, it definitely seemed that the uh, the rag method worked the best it allows the oil to be wicked up and then the burning chamber to get up to heat before you uh, get right into it anyway I hope you found this interesting with all its uh, failures as well uh, I certainly learned a lot if you found this interesting please have a look at the other videos on my channel there's plenty of them there uh, all sorts of oil burning and melting things please uh, don't forget to uh, click the like button if you uh, enjoyed this video it does help a lot don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already please leave your comments and most of all share it round I'll be back with uh, more fun and entertainment thanks very much for watching